Hi, my name is Jeannie White and welcome to The Connect Show. Today, we have a very interesting guest. Her name is Laurie Brennan. Hi, Laurie. Hi. And Laurie has done some fabulous things concerning the way she has taken care of her health. And she's gone to see Mark Mincola at Sante Holistic and he has helped you with your diet, per se. So, Laurie, I'm going to give it to you. Well, I'm hoping it's a life change. I'm hoping it's not a diet. Because well, I'm hope. always going up and down all yeah. the time, and I've kind of decided this time that I really want to try to make it work. Yes. And basically, it's a healthy diet. Lots of proteins, vegetables, and fruits. Right. And that's kind of what I'm trying to stay on. And my body was kind of in shock at first with I all know. of Didn't it. Didn't it kind of like turn you upside down? It really down did. Backwards. I was like, yeah. oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? But I've, I've adapted to it a little bit. I'm doing protein shakes in the morning, and what I'll do is a little sugar-free syrup, and it, it makes it a, a little bit easier to, to drink. To yes. drink. Yes. I'll put ice in it to make it nice and cold. Like more of a smoothie for you. And I'll yes. substitute a lot of sandwiches for salads and doing a lot more fish. Uh -huh. And I'm actually doing much better with it after my body was in the shock of it to keep away <laughs> from a lot of the carbs. What's very interesting is that I went to a lecture and they were talking about carbohydrates and ever since I've been there it's kind of given me an incentive to stay on this yes. and try to really limit the carbs. Mm -hmm. Because we have carbs and fruits and vegetables and yes. just eating normally. This is pretty interesting. I was looking at a can of soda, and if you look at a can of soda, it has 39 grams of carbs and 39 sugars. And I found that they were t I was, heard, was told about a formula mm -hmm. that converts the carbohydrates into sugar in your oh, body. Oh, really? That's interesting. So if you actually look at your carbohydrates and your sugar, you're getting a lot more sugar than you think. This one can of soda has 39 grams of carbs. If you divide it by four, that gives you the amount of sugar that's in the can that's converted into your body, which is nine and three quarter teaspoons of sugar. If it also has 39 grams of sugar, sugar you divide by 15. So that gives us another two teaspoons of sugar. So altogether, our body's getting 12 teaspoons of sugar from one Would can you? of soda. Right. Now, if you start measuring out 12 teaspoons of sugar and you can actually see how much is in that you're getting into your body. You want me to measure? Yeah, just keep counted out 12. They're saying that the average child today and adult are getting almost 150 teaspoons of sugar a day because everything we eat, most or almost everything has a carbohydrate in it. And what you want to try to do is keep it low. That's why they're saying type 2 diabetes is um, on the rise today. Okay, I did. Um, so that's 12 that's teaspoons. That's quite an interesting That's a lot see. of sugar that's in one, one can, can of, of soda. soda. And average that out if somebody has two or three cans. Exactly, which yeah. is probably if you're a soda drinker, you probably don't stop at one can a day. I did a little meal plan thinking about how, what yeah. somebody eats during the day. And um, I did something with a peanut butter sandwich, with peanut butter and jelly, with white bread, and it turns out that that sandwich is approximately 27 teaspoons of sugar. So you use the formula, you just divide the mm -hmm. carbohydrates by four, right. and that gives you the teaspoons of sugar. Divide the sugar by 15, and that will give you your teaspoons of sugar. If you have a peanut butter sandwich with this meal, along with just peanut butter and jelly and 15 potato chips. Now, I don't know about you, but I never ate 15 potato chips. Oh, I've never eaten 15. Chips. I think I've had the whole bag. That will give you 31 <laughs> teaspoons of sugar. Yes. And if you go ahead and put it with a soda, yeah. you know, your meal is absolutely right up there. For dinner, just one cup of pasta has 10 teaspoons of sugar by using the converting mm -hmm. the carbohydrates. Yes. Uh -huh. One person, portion of sauce has foa. So just one cup of pasta with one serving of, of, um, of pasta sauce is 14 teaspoons mm -hmm. of sugar. And you add this together with the bread that you might have, maybe a cup of milk. And that meal with just the one cup of pasta with a piece of bread and milk is 25 teaspoons of sugar. 
That's a lot of sugar. So this is all giving me the incentive <laughs> that yeah. try to keep away from my carbs, eat the egg white omelet, have a tuna fish salad, right. salad yeah. instead of the sandwich. Sandwich, yeah. The average amount of cereal today, one portion of cereal is around, with milk is around 16 teaspoons of sugar. If you add all this up, the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, uh, of just a plain one cup mm -hmm. and a peanut butter sandwich mm -hmm. and, a, and a bowl of cereal. Yeah. This is what you get for a day. This is 84 teaspoons of sugar. With that's just a lot that of sugar. Well, that's not counting the cookies you might eat after lunch. <laughs> or the cake. Or the piece of pie yeah. after dinner. Yeah. And that's what we're getting. And this is why um, everybody's having so many problems with carbohydrates. Okay. So I think of this. I think of this bag of sugar, and it's 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 kept me off, off a lot of a lot of you, the heavy carbs and making you more aware. I've been doing it for four weeks now. Yeah, really. And how much? I've lost twelve pounds. Congratulations! That's good. Thank you. Thank I you. think I wanted to say too that I've noticed with you is your skin how it's how it's changed. I'm, it's I'm hoping like I still get a little more energy. Yeah. And up the exercise yeah. and. And hopefully my journey will be good. I'm be sure it will be good. I'm sure Mark Nicola, who I also go to see, um, is probably very pleased at what you're doing because you went today to see Mark. I did, and um, I'll continue seeing him in about six weeks from yeah. now. So. Sante. Sante, holistic, holistic healing, and, and cohesit. Well, I think maybe the next time we could do something is to give some of the little recipes and everything that you're doing. Right now, we've talked about people how they're, you know, how the sugar. Is convert how the carbohydrates convert into sugar. So maybe we can do um, a few little recipes sure. on okay. what it is you're doing because you're doing it fabulously. Good, really. Maybe I'll bring you to my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, let's, we'll have to go to the kitchen, Laurie's kitchen. There we go. There you go. Well, Laurie, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule, really, thank you, to come and talk about what it is that how you're changing your lifestyle and that's what it is you're changing your lifestyle and your eating habits so it's not so much a diet as a change thank you yeah well i want to thank everyone for listening to the connect show with Jeannie white thank you again stay tuned for further videos shows with laurie in the kitchen uh, making some wonderful recipes that perhaps you all can use thank you again have a great day Jeannie white at the connect show